My name is uh, Samuel Bakum. I'm a physician scientist, uh, a radiation oncologist in the clinic, and a tumor biologist in the lab. What got me really interested in science was my father. Since a very young age, he's always kind of uh, pushed us to really think about what is not known and how to really try and answer these questions. My dad is a physician, but when he trained, I think scientific training wasn't that prevalent. I'm pretty convinced that had he lived in our day and age, he might have probably also been a physician scientist. So I feel like I've complemented his initial dreams in a way, um, and in a way that, that fulfills my own as well. The award by the Blavatnik Family Foundation is a tremendous honor. It is very difficult as a young scientist to be able to break through the bubble and be recognized and be visible and be seen. My work focuses on understanding a widespread phenomenon of cancer cells called chromosomal instability and understanding its role in cancer metastasis. Chromosomal instability describes a state where each time cancer cells divide, they make mistakes in how they distribute the DNA in the cell. The eureka moment, so to speak, is realizing that cancer cells view this as a viral infection. This really opens up a lot of new avenues to target cancer metastasis in a way that we didn't think about before. Recently, there has been a lot of advent of single cell sequencing technology. And I think the next step, we will need to know how to process all this data and translate these findings into the clinic. My favorite part working in the lab is the moments results come out to be unexpected. And that moment is also the moment where I try and open my mind up to the possibility that there is something else more exciting than what we initially anticipated and, and try and chase that. While frustrating, it's also quite intriguing and when it works out, it's, that's what I think of as a eureka moment. Whenever work becomes a little too stressful or uh, science doesn't really work, sometimes I like to take a step back and enjoy life outside of the lab, outside of research. And this is where music comes into play. I've played you know, the piano since I was uh, four years old and I think it's been always a great way to relieve uh, a lot of uh, my stress and to really just enjoy life outside of science. While working here at Wild Cornell Medicine, I established many collaborations that I hope and intend to take with me going forward um, after I've established my independent laboratory. Mm -hmm.